In today's video, we are going to be making a free account with Video Ask and then doing their quick tutorials and making our first video survey. Now, it may cut my recording off, and if so, we will head over to the actual survey itself. We'll link both of those before this video. So we're going to head over to videoask.com and go ahead and sign up for an account. We'll follow the instructions on, scene to, on screen to do their tutorial. The first thing Video Ask does once you verify your email is shows you an example of Video Ask. Hey, what are we doing here? And we just go ahead and fill out our information. So I'm going to say I'm a freelancer. Generate leads or signups. Someone else's video ask. And now we have tutorials inside the account. So it's really, really easy. I'm just going to jump in and create a new video ask and see what it has me do. Collect contact details, create video ask. How would you like to create this step? I'm going to do upload and I'm actually going to record on my phone if I can. Uh, because I don't want the webcam to cut off our loom. Hit it and recorded a video. It goes. It gives us the metrics that we that we can have. Browser can't preview this video. Don't worry. The file is okay though. Up now. Let's see if it'll ask us some questions. It overlays text inside of the video. I'm going to make the text extra small and see this darkening for readability. Fit video. So we can see those features there. Now let's see if it actually gives us the options to set or questions. Now I can choose how people would like to answer video, audio, or text. I have the answer type as open ended, but I'm going to give it multiple choice. And then you can see like calendar button. You can see these other options. You can even see payment. So we're going to say, um, type as the answer. We're going to pick not open ended. We're going to do multiple choice, choice one, brand owner, choice two. Content creator, choice three, agency owner. And then we'll even do a bonus choice, marketing employee. Okay, press done. And now, oh, this is really cool. It goes to steps. Add new steps by hitting the plus button before any next step. Okay. Build conditional logic by dragging a node into space and choosing options. Reconnect nodes and order reorder in your video's ask flow. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do our end screen here in a moment. All done. Thank you for answering. You can customize your end screen with one of the following, a growth plan or a brand plan. Okay. So let's just add some new steps. Now it'll jump to this step based on who this person is. So we're going to say a brand owner, and then we're going to ask our follow-up question from our survey. And you should go ahead and have your survey decided. Like don't, don't come to this uh, trying, you know, to create questions on the fly. I mean, maybe you're good enough to do that. I'm personally not. I need to fill things in, right? Business owner, agency owner, director, manager, creator. So I like to have things prepared. What is your role? I'm an agency owner. Do you want to do videos? Do you have trouble making content? I'm going to be able to consolidate those. What is your average monthly revenue? How much are you currently spending on ads? What's your core business? Video ads agency.
How would you rate your tolerance to getting this done? And where should we send your demo? So I'm going to ask basically the same question to each one of these people, but I'm going to ask it slightly differently. And I'm going to allow us to go ahead and basically enter like their volume um, of how much content they've created or created before. And then like what would be their biggest goal um, in working with the media team. And you can choose if they all go to this flow. Now we'll upload another file. Here we go. Hopefully you can still hear that video. It's, you know, do you guys want to make content? Is it con is it something you want to do for leads? Like, is it something you need? And then again, we're going to choose the multiple choice option. And we're going to kind of use the same questions as before. If we love making content and want to keep building our brands, we only make, want to make content if it's going to get us more leads and sales. Sorry, get us more leads and sales. And we haven't made hardly any content, but we'd like to try. Now, I'll, the last thing I'll add in here is like average revenue, and then we'll move forward. So add a new step here for all of these people. For this one, we can say add a video la later. Let's see what happens there. So we can go ahead and get our options. We're going to say text again on this one. less than $30,000 per month. Now it looks like we can only do three steps in our plan. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually skip what I had here as this revenue question. And let's see if it will allow us to plug into a calendar. So we had add your appointment scheduling link and we have this calendar here. We don't want to use those calendars because we already have one. So let's see if there's another thing we can do, like say, book a demo call. But I don't know where that button goes. Looks like it just goes to the next section. We don't want that either. Instead, we're just gonna add one of our custom URLs and see what happens. We added remotemediateam.com slash demo. We'll see if it embeds itself. And then we'll go back and say, you know, hey, thank you for um, all your information. Go ahead and book a demo below and we'll start working with you. So let's go ahead and get that video done. But to click on this card here and we can replace this video with the newly uploaded one. Let it do its thing, let it upload. And then now we've got a nice little three-step survey here. We'll demo it ourselves. And in under really 10 minutes or so, we have our a video ask survey set up. If you can get your questions down to three surveys and you can just rock with this free account, have people booking some calls, then you can embed it on your site. Um, and we'll see what those custom options are here in a moment. All right, so we've got these three questions and the survey set up. Let's go ahead and share. Now we can send it via email, share on social. I'm going to send it via email to myself. Send in an email, embed code. Ask, video ask to embed the body of a newsletter. Copy and paste a snippet of HTML code in your newsletter. Add contact variables. That's pretty awesome. So we're going to go add it in the go high level email that we are sending to you guys. Actually, if you are reading this email or watching one of our tutorials, then you might have got this through our video. If you're on our list, we're going to embed that inside of that video ask template and see what populates for us.
So we're just gonna grab this code here and put that on screen. This is really cool, guys. Check this out. So it embedded in the email. Now you can update this section um, following one of our other templates, but you'll be able to see this. And then we can preview this template and you can see video ask right there, right to it. So then you can go through that tutorial. So that's, that's awesome. Um, and then it says there's another option here for us to share it and embed it in our website. So we're going to go ahead and grab iframe or widget. Attract the attention of your visitors. We're going to do the widget color as blue. Now the widget is going to put it like in the bottom of your site. The iframe is going to put it like on a page in your site, right? So if I were going to our old site that is now updated, let me go put it on there twice and see what happens. We're going to do the iframe and we're going to do the regular embed. So we can grab this widget, widget style, copied. Google Tag Manager. We're going to turn this chat widget off. We're going to put this in the head and the body because I don't know which one it is that's going to make it work. That's not best practices, so don't always follow me. And let's see if this widget loads. We're going to preview it over here to see if it loads. Now, we have a Zendesk ticket down here, too, so it may not, may not load for us, and that's okay. Oh, there it is. So we went ahead and added it there. You can click it in the bottom right, and you can hey. Now you could go directly through the survey. Before we continue, we ask for your email, Tristan at remotemediateam.com. Next steps, and you can see the next steps. Book a meeting, and then it takes you directly to book a meeting. Now it takes a second to load on there. That's all right. We're not too worried about the loading time. So last step here would be the iframe embed. So let's say we wanted to put it just on our site and we didn't want it to be a widget the last thing we would do here is grab that same code from the iframe embed that here i've got too many tabs open add the code and save it save it on screen and then preview it and we should see it load on our site in just a moment. There it is. So you've got lots of options with Video Ask. Video Ask seems to be a pretty easy and incredible way. And this is on the free account. So it's to be a pretty easy and incredible way to get surveys. Once these are done, you share. I guess you could leave your account at any time. You can also send a direct link to this. And you can share it on social media like Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter. So happy creating with uh, video ask if you have any questions comments or concerns please reach out to support at remote media team hope you found this tutorial valuable and we look forward to seeing what you create with video ask thanks